If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on our currencies and we're going to be using view filters in order to set that up for us. Now, the first thing that I want to do today is to add a route to this shop link up here. So let's head over to the text editor. We'll go to our nav component. We scroll down to that shop link that's right here. And then we can do route shop index. And then we need to also add a colon here. So let's make sure that that route works now. Okay, and if we hover over shop, we should now be able to go to that shop page. Here are the prices that I want to work on. Now, I know you're wondering, filters, wasn't view three supposed to get rid of filters? And actually it did. Let's head over to that documentation. It's saying that clearly in bold, big letters, filters were removed. And then under it, it says filters are removed from view three and no longer supported. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, it shows you how life was good in view two in terms of filters and basically not anymore. Then you head down to the version three update and it's saying filters were removed and no longer supported. Instead, we recommend placing them with method calls or computed properties. That's well and good. There we have an example of it being used as a computed property with almost the exact same thing that we need. However, if you were using Vue 2 and you upgraded whatever your project was to Vue 3, there is another solution. There's a section here called Global Filters, and right under it, it says if you are using filters that were globally registered and then used throughout your app, it's likely not convenient to replace them with computer properties or methods in each individual component. Remember, Vue, their big draw is having so many components that you can just kind of sneak into a bigger component especially for something as small as currency. Then it says, then you can fix all templates using the filters object like this, blah, 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 blah. That's basically what we're going to do. To further drive the point home, in the Inertia Laravel GitHub repository, someone asked almost the exact same question is how to use app global config using latest Inertia implementation because it wasn't really all that clear. You try to set it up within this section right here and you get errors so they just kind of went into all of that. And then someone else had another suggestion on how to do it. And this is basically what we're going to do where we create a constant and we use that constant to attach the global properties. And then we'll be able to just sort of reconfigure our app.js. That's all that's really saying. And then the creator of Inertia gave that a big thumbs up. And this was in August. So let's give this a whirl and see how it's going to work for us. Let's close this out and head over to our app.js. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out. So we're going to go ahead and create a constant and we'll call it view app. We'll say that create app, basically the same thing. Okay, we'll go down to the next line and then we'll say view app. Now we have to attach it. This we're going to call filters equals, and then we're going to say format currency. In this format currency, we're going to need to pass in a value. That value is going to be on the front end. So we'll go ahead and say value equals value divided by 100 because our prices are whole numbers. So we need to break them down into $24.35. So that's why we're doing it divided by 100. Now we can return value to locale string and then for me, since my prices are all for the U.S., I'm going to say EN U.S. Style is going to be currency. And the currency is going to be USD. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing two locale string, locale string is a JavaScript function. I'm going to leave the link for this in the description as well so that you can take a look and see how to configure this for whatever locale string that you're going to be using. Whatever country you're using, this will show you how to set it up for yourselves. And then it also tells you what browsers support it, what browsers don't support it. It's going to tell you all of that. Just take a look through the documentation and you'll find it. So now that we've handled the currency, I'm going to take this and I am going to uncomment it. And then in here, we're going to do view app. And now we don't need this anymore. And then we have all of the same functions and everything else that we had. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's head into the shop index. And we're going to be looking for price. And that's the only price that we have. So now we can just wrap around this, add some parentheses, and then our new filter. 
filters.format currency. I'm pretty sure that's what I've named it. I've forgotten already. Format currency. And then the value that we're passing into it is that product price. So let's go ahead, refresh the page and see if that works. Okay, very cool. We have our prices and we have every item in the shop page. Fantastic. We've done it. Now, I know a lot of people might say, hey, why didn't you use a mix-in and then you could have done a computer property? Yeah, we absolutely could have done that. I don't really use mix-ins if I can avoid it. If I can do it another way, I try not to. And they even tell you that in the view documentation about mix-ins, especially when you have a lot of pages and a lot of components that you could be using them in. They conflict with things. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the filter situation with view three and let me know what are some of the obstacles that you've had while either attempting to use it or not using it. and let me know if you think that this is a decent solution it is for me let me know how you feel about it i'm dropping all the links that i gave you guys today as well as github a link to the playlist all that information will be down in the description for you so that you have easy access to everything i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time